Hi guys, today we're gonna be covering essentially um, third boss. Oh, wait, this is the third boss, right? One, two, three. Yeah, third boss, uh, the nine. I believe it's called uh, nine. The nine. The nine. Uh, sorry for my German. <laughs> sorry, maybe I hope that joke wasn't like too weird. Um, this is really a relatively simple fight. It really is. There is an overbearing, overwhelming, humongous, gigantic amount of mechanics in this fight, but most of them like don't really cause too many issues. I would say it's sort of more like it's more the case of just like everything you know about War World of Warcraft is sort of kind of converging into this one fight in its like least dangerous form like there is small AOE bombs there is uh, dispellable uh, curses that jump on nearby players there is circles you go into circles you go out to circles you can move mini circles you can move interrupt um soaking mechanic it's literally this is like a if somebody ma made me design like one fight that teaches people how to raid in world of warcraft that'll be this and i actually find it quite enjoyable it's such a chill little fight mm. When you can see our note for this fight as well in the top left is pretty much like just straightforward we just said like there's no point assigning anything in this fight it's very easy just we basically use the things on cd this is not our first kill by the way uh if that matters to anybody this is i believe second or third kill and I, if i remember correctly i i didn't make a mistake here see i thought we we're gonna go here with fragments and then they all they all said like no no come here and i was like wait why are we going there so i actually don't know why we moved there i'm assuming because of shield but i was outside of the shield but it is what it is um after a little bit of uh moving we, we figured it out <coughs> kudos for uh, kudos to other killers for helping out with the uh, dispels there uh as i was in the middle of a ramp so <coughs> that was quite awkward but i'm actually might, this might sound funny but i'm actually pretty proud when i do like a good cast sequence on a ramp and still manage to make an optimal ramp uh, while while doing a mechanic that that's like such a satisfying feeling and it's really not that easy to do Mm, of course you, like you should always aim to do it especially if there is something that you absolutely have to cover but uh, it, this is why i enjoy this fight there is no point where i have to do something so i can kind of delay things and stuff like that to kind of make them work for 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 my own timings like my inner timings and stuff like that so that's that's really nice I, this is why this is one of the reasons why i like this fight and also, we five killed this fight, if that's important to anybody. We two holy paladins, one holy priest, one disciplined priest, and one shame. Shame one. Okay. As I said, relatively simple fight. Um, I, I do my best. What I usually try to do on this fight is... Uh, I try to keep fragmented people shielded with ato and with atonements so they get some passive healing from the dots and like all the damage we do and then i've been just pretty much ramping on cd more or less because there's just like a consistent overwhelming amount of damage here that is just going on non-stop and it's pretty much unavoidable most of it of course there's a lot of avoidable damage as well if you do mechanics properly but a lot of the damage here is also unavoidable for example this there's nothing you can do to avoid this it's just a damage mechanic and you have to and here i started drinking and <laughs> you could see my panicky clicks i was like oh man i just wasted my potion because i i really felt like i was gonna die so i just i just had to like press my fade and my um my health stone and you can still see i'm still not used to using the the kirian potion which is a really really bad thing because kirian potion is so strong and it's an instant and it doesn't share cd with anything so it's like really really good i just gotta i i still cannot grasp the concept of just having like a 
covenant potion just sitting there waiting for me. I really need to like do something to make myself more aware of that. Because I noticed in Mythic Plus as well, I don't. And here Johnny is literally chasing me with murderous intent. He's like, F you, Shield Coomer. I'll get you. Uh, but yeah, here with the shield, we've been trying to get out, and I'm pretty much um, ramping at this point, so I'm not really too focused on positioning and other things, which is, of course, <clears throat> not the best, but it is what it is. You know, not everybody's perfect. I think I still did fine. So we moved out of the shield thingies, and we pop our Shadow Fiend, pop our Schism, Evangelism. Everything else, and then I place a gnome fragments here. Now you might be wondering why do dome there. Well, it's because these fragments they actually deal a lot of damage, especially once you have multiple stacks. And I just want to make sure that we like we can sort of like chill there and not worry too much Call about you know dying, since we did, if I'm not mistaken, have like at least two healers there with the uh, with the fragment, and we're one healer down already. So. I might as well put my dome to good uses, right? Even though this is not where it's assigned, but... Uh, I actually doubt we'll even make it to the point where it was assigned to be completely honest with you. And here another another small bomb combination with the, with the fragment, very dangerous. Um, kinda wish I had ramp for this as well, but of course we can't ramp everything. And I somehow end up with the fragment Wait, did I have this fragment from the start? I actually don't know what happened there. I dispelled myself too fast and then it jumps on Carantor. Um, and Carantor brings it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of, uh, you know, hot potatoes, but we somehow managed to, to get through there. And that was pretty intense, but pretty, like, pretty easy. And here, like, it was too late for this ramp, like, it was already over, the fight is already over. Such a, such an easy fight and short fight. Uh, if you guys got any questions about it, if you wanna, you know, have any comments, any suggestions, or any advice you would like to give me, or whatever else, uh, I would appreciate that, uh, and always happy to help as well. Uh, with strats or whatever else you guys can think of any sort of questions disc related or just in general related to the fight uh, I, I will always be happy to answer to you guys and um, Thank you guys for thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it You know leave a you know like comment subscribe if you want more discipline priest content and world of warcraft content in general and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though it was a little bit of short, short and a weird one. Feels like there's not enough to say in these like short boss fight videos. Yeah, like I can't comment gameplay and just in general as much as I want to, but it is what it is. Either way, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.